Hello, and today we're going to talk about backing up your Drupal website. Now, as you all know, I'm a big fan of Drupal, but I'm less of a fan of backup. Like like many people, backup is this thing that people are always preaching about that you should do it, but it's kind of tedious. So what if there was an automated way in Drupal that we could um, do that? So, that's, that's what we're going to show you how to do today, and I'm actually going to do it on a development environment for a site that I'm working on for a client. So it's really easy for him to back his site up with one button. Um, and what we're going to use is a backup and migrate module, um, which makes it really easy to uh, get your database and, and lots of other things. Um, and download it to a file you, you could and it also allows automated backup you could do this m manually through your hosting but it's generally much better to have something that's integrated into the content management system so so if we look at this um what i've got on the screen here like again people for people who are asking this is my dual monitor. Um, uh, we've got the backup and migrate module. The great thing about this module is it it um it allows you to mi migrate it really easily. It's at the same time as being able to back it up, so you can actually do something with the backup once you got it. Because that's an important thing. Uh, when I had a site. A few months ago, about six months ago now, probably called Vox Fifty. Yeah, if you guys remember, it, I had quite a few members, um, and one day I was messing about with the site, um, but it was fine because I had I had a backup. But then, guess what? I couldn't restore the backup. So this is really important. Um, and it's really good because it helps you actually do something with it once you've done it. So, if we look at this page here, we see that it's got both versions for 5 and 6, and they're well, well maintained, which is what you want for a backup module. And this focuses on backing up your database, which is, is the bit that um, contains all the content the drupal file structure itself doesn't contain your content or your most of your settings that's contained in the database and it um it it uh supports several co compression types so let's just dive in if we uh download the module So our desktop here is just going to come out as backup and migrate and if we drag this just over into my second monitor here and um, what we're going to do is we're now going to upload this. So we're just going to open up Coda. which is my editor of choice here um, and we're going to open up Coda and we're going to connect to the client's website so Coda has this handy site feature where you can save websites and it happens to be the green thing the site so all I'm going to do is connect to that and th there's been migration on this hosting which I might talk about in the future but I'm in the process of reorganizing the site but it's the Drupal site installed in the dev directory so let's go in there and we remember we don't want to put the modules in the root level modules folder we want to put them in sites 
all and then modules and as you see like any site I've already got quite a few modules in here so I'm just going to drag our module into the back of my great folder and let it install and we won't be needing coder anymore if I just drag this off screen this is when it comes really good to have a second monitor that's going really well well by the way um, so now what we need to do is log into the client's site and set up the module so what we're going to do is uh, if we go to slash dev admin here we go to the modules page the theme is in work in progress as you see there's quite a lot well this is just no design period but there's quite a lot that still needs to be done so if we scroll down in our list of modules we see the backup of my great module um back back up all my back up all my great the Drupal database uh quickly and without unnecessary data so what we're going to do is we're going to enable that And then we're going to administer it. So um, we're just going to find where, it, and it's under content management. And we're going to choose which bits we want to migrate. And you've, you can schedule backups. And I'm not actually going to do that. You, you can exclude the following tables. I. I I just want to um, make a backup. You can set a timestamp so you can see where it's um, been on your set. I'm going to use gzip compression so that it's really easy to see. And I'm also going to impend the timestamp. I'm going to save it in a directory on the server, which is the files directory, which I'll show you in a minute. And I'm just going to hit backup database this is what the client would do every time he wanted to make a backup um, and then I can go and import the database here and I can also see saved backups and I can down download it I can restore from the backup right from within this interface I can see when there were scheduled backups and I can restore or import a, a database. So that's pretty much the module. If we just go back into Coda for a minute, pop that open, and we look in the files directory, this is where all your user files will be stored. And we reload the files directory. Um okay that's embarrassing. For some reason. Okay that's the just trust me, that's that's been backed up and we could download it to our um database. So that's pretty much setting up the back of my backup and migrate module for backup in Drupal. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this video helpful in any way, please go to tom com slash about slash donate and you can donate to me using PayPal. 
Thank you for watching this video and I hope you've liked it.